Louisiana Beer Reviews, recorded at Mathern Supermarket Laplace, Louisiana. We're looking at Goose Island Hawker's Ale. Now the website says 4.3%, but this bottle says 4.2%, and it contains wheat. Uh, brewed in New York, the company was originally founded in Chicago, Illinois, but 2011, 2011, it was bought out by Anheuser-Busch InBev, and they consolidated their operations to Baldwinsville, New York, where they also brew the Bass Ales. Uh, 30 international bitterness units. They use two-row caramel wheat and roasted barley. Super steering and steering goldens of the hops. This beer won a bronze medal at the 2006 uh, World Beer Cup and a gold medal at the 1997 Great American Beer Festival. So we know the beer has been out of since 97. The company was founded in 1988. It's a good score on beer. I think it all go to Brose. Very good. 71 out of 100 on rape beer. 97 out of 100 for the style, which is bitter, English style bitter ale. And an excellent score on the beer and meat. So, Let's see if it's like the English ales. They're saying that on the website, uh, like Fuller's, something like that. Now, another thing, the website is showing it as a twist cap, but this is a broad, broad cap. Second time in a week that's happened. A lot of smoke. And has a bush shelf glass. Yeah, second time in a week I've seen the website showing a twist cap. Beer out and it's a fry cap. I think it was Anheuser Busch four times. Okay, uh, I think it would be a thicker head and a taller glass, but it's a pretty thin, you know, cream colored head and a very clear copper appearance with some streaming bubbles. And if you look carefully with those pretty strong lights, you can see lots of particles, suspended little white particles, which a lot of times you'll notice in pretty much any beer if you have a good enough light coming through. You can get uh, mud light or something, get the light shining through, you can pick up those little particles as filtered as it is. Okay, let's go with the aroma. Um, sweet. I say brown bread crust. Uh, those barley malts, uh, not that different from your English bitters, although it doesn't have that. Sometimes they have that funny cellar mold flavor coming from those odd hops they use. Let's go with the taste. Now this has the hop. Odd, odd hops, but not that sellable. But it's got the sweet readiness. You can certainly pick up the mellow hops. 30 IBUs. Yeah, I wouldn't guess it was that high though, but that's what they're saying. Um, some certainly some fruitiness that you get in these ales. Uh, it said that on the website on the bottle. Uh, So really just getting a mild sweet breadiness, bread crust, fruitiness, so it's like medium roasted, light to medium roasted. Um, the mouth feel is um, I say light to medium, more toward medium, a little bit soft and slick. And the finish is semi-dry, it's refreshing, we're here at 6.45 in the morning, and the drinkability is very, very good, so, well, it's not up to the, I guess you said a level of Fuller's, but then it's priced at a different level, it's more like a more accessible price level, but for a mass-produced American beer that's uh, in the English style. I think they did a very nice job. Um, I'm going to go along with Beer Advocate. I think they got it right. The Bros. I'm saying the Bros. Beer Advocate saying good, but the Bros. saying very good, and I'm going to go along with that. Yeah, 
it's, it's a very good beer. Um, I'll give it a B plus. So, Les et Les Bons Sans Roulet. This is a very good beer. I'm glad I got to try it. First time ever. They started selling Goose Island in Louisiana this year, 2013. And I'm going to end this review by saying, y'all come on down to New Orleans, come down to La Plus, and go to Mathurns and check out their huge and ever-growing beer selection.